all right guys welcome back to the channel on a lot of requests from my very loyal audience who appreciate the work i'm putting into my videos to bring in new research and new method that isn't found anywhere else on youtube today's video is totally will be on your eyes and the aesthetic problems in you about your eyes and the reason your eye are shaped the way they're shaped and how to fix that per uh, permanently now a bit, now before starting i suggest you watch the video completely it's not it won't be too lengthy so you avoid the confusions that you later comment down below because the video is structured in a way that makes sense when you watch it till the end and not just the beginning two minutes because in the start i describe the problems overall and later i provide the solutions to those problems so make sure to watch the complete video for you to make sense first of all we need to understand the concept of prey eyes and hunter eyes now prey eyes indicates submissiveness and always watching out for prop problems and having a poor defensive mechanism in your body like it's the same as what you see in most prey animals on the other hand hunter eyes indicate authority and control over the things happening around you and always being active and relaxed you might be wondering what causes this is it genetics or is it our own habits or the or the daily things we do well in most ca uh, cases prey eyes are a product of your own behavior and the daily routine habits you have there are people whose parents had a, po a positive candle tilt while their own kids ended up having a negative candle tilt the reasons of a negative candle tilt or a positive candle tilt or if you will have prey eyes or if you will have hunter eyes all comes down to one thing and that's the ans or in a full form the autonomic nervous system so what's that the ans so the ans is a part of our a nervous system that controls involuntarily psychological functions in the body such as the heart rate digestion re respiratory rate and the blood pressure it also controls how your body reacts to stress you know often referred to as a flight or uh, fight or flight response it prepares the body for stressful or emergency situations by increasing heart rate dilating airways and di and diverting blood to muscles so this flight and fight response is also called sympathetic uh, nervous system and the second system is uh, known as the rest and digest system it helps you it, it helps the body to relax recover and conserve energy by slowing the heart rate stimulating digestion and promoting other restorative processes that's the second one so the ans has two parts fight or flight and rest and digest now you might be wondering why i am telling you this stuff and what connection does it have with your eye area the eye area is a byproduct of your of your nervous system if you're mostly in fly or fight mode your eyes and your whole body will be looking out for danger and hence making you the prey and the victim in your environment that you're in on the other hand if you're more relaxed and chill and have nothing to worry about your nervous system will know that you're the most dominant in your environment and there are no insecurities that that your body has to fight for so for the most of the time uh, practice relaxing your eyes and taking stress away out of your life the best way to improve your uh, nervous system is in engaging in concentrated exercises like that involves your brains to focus on on achieving a goal in a short amount of time maybe as a game and the best way to do that is engaging in sports like basketball or football or cricket something like that a lot of people say that jaw is the law or jaw is the most important part of your face as a male which is completely wrong and i do not agree with that i feel jaw is the second most important part in your face a very great example is in this picture where the person still looks good with a bad jaw but an amazing eye area so an eye area is definitely more important than a great jaw not to mention that great jaw leads to great eye area too since you have great under eye support for your eyes so you can't have uh, like a great jaw while having a very bad, bad eye area 
Stomach times it could be bad, but not in all cases. It's your orbital bones that mostly cause dro droopy eyelids. If they're weak and downturn, it causes dro droopy eyelids. But if they're in good shape and upwards, then it's basically good eye area. Let's find out how to improve your orbital bones. And for this, we'll be using a concept called burn hi hypertrophy, which will improve your size and shape of the orbital bones. As you already know, in healthy organisms, leading bone retention and, mechan and mechanical load triggers the bone remodeling biomechanism, allowing bone gain in local areas of your or orbital bone. For this, we must get a ball of clay or something like that. Um, you can make it out of clay. It is very important that our object adopts to the shape of our orbital bone. You have to mold um, a ball according to your eye shape, not bigger than that, not small, smaller than that. And for this purpose, I used white clay and mold it freely according to my eye area. Now you have to slowly heat up your orbital bones and the eye area around it by having very light strokes with that ball. Do it for at least five minutes every day. Make sure you don't blind yourself or hit your eye like the main eye socket, because that's not what you're trying to hit. You should be hitting the orbital bone like the one in the picture. Now, we're moving to the diet. Now, the most important is the diet that influences our hormones and collagen production. For, ho for hormones, I've already uploaded the most recent video on my channel. You, you can check that out for a detailed guide, but the eye area is mostly made up of eye tissues and the skin around your eye. You have to increase the intake of protein and anim animal fat in your diet. Consume high amounts of beef or lamb fat and in just a few weeks, you will start noticing results. You can also take collagen supplements to do that if you're a vegan. If you generally can't afford buying meat every day, you can also take the same supplements. Also, to, you, to reduce your upper eyelid exposure, the UEE, you, you should try squinting and looking at the sun for a few seconds every day. Not in a harmful way, just for your eyes to adopt the state in a natural way. So you don't look like a depressed weirdo when you're squinting. Also, as I've mentioned in my Unlock Your Best Look video, you should try maxing your eyelashes. You know, you should grow your eyelashes out and try to shape them in a way that it reduces your upper eyelid exposure, the UEE.